Hey guys, I'm following a little tutorial. I can put the link into the description and uh, it's about um, building procedural houses. And there is something which bothered me. Um, here you can see that we place these little things uh, on the windows, uh, these little uh, tiny roofs, and sometimes they intersect. And what I wanted is to make them not intersect. So, or let's say it like, so when they intersect, that one of those is deleted. And yeah, it works. And I found out how to make this. Thank you to the little moose, <laughs> to the very nice moose in um, uh, the Houdini Think Procedural Discord channel, because he helped me a ton. And I would like to give you an example how it works, but not in my UG network here. It's just complex, but you can, um, yeah, uh, add my my changes there as well. It's the same uh, workflow, but I would like to choose a simpler example. And for that, I create a little box and uh, show it. And um, what what we do in the tutorial is basically we have a point cloud on all these walls, and then we copy these little uh, props to those points. So what I create here is um, points from volume. I create some points first for us as a base. Um, so now we have some points within this uh, box. And um, what I do now is make uh, less points by increasing the point separation and give it a little jitter so that they are randomly distributed. Okay, so and we do uh, what we do in the tutorial as well, uh, create a loop for um, uh, for loop for points. So we iterate over all these points. Yeah. So, and the basic idea is we add a copy to points node here. Make it so. The second input is uh, the points we are copying to. And then I will add a sphere as example. This would be the geometry you add to the walls when you follow the tutorial, um, which is these little roofs and for the climate things or whatever you want, the air conditions. So um, yeah, we have this sphere now. And when we click here at the end to the loop, we see when, especially when we make the sphere smaller, that to all of these points in the point cloud here, there is one sphere copied. Okay, so the problem is that sometimes they intersect here, for example, right? And this is exactly the problem with the props at the, on the walls, um, yeah, which we don't want. And um, yeah, we can, we can actually do that. <laughs> so let me show you how. The first, what you have to do is create a new begin block. This is another one like this one here. And we have to tell it what end block it points to basically. So we can click the original one, just copy the block path here, go into block begin and paste this here. And then we see that the orange uh, for loop area is extended. Okay. So now um, it, it works like that. Uh, we iterate over every point and then we copy one of these spheres to the point, right? And uh, the little new sphere goes down here, the line, and then here um, it is merged to whatever was there before. In the first iteration, there was nothing. Uh, second iteration, the second sphere is added and so on. You can watch this actually when you go into the end node and then go here, max iterations, and then you can see how it works and adds more and more uh, points. But to make this uh, whole work with the intersections, we have to set this here instead of merge everything to feedback each iteration. And um, this one here is already set to fetch feedback. And what happens now when we go here is uh, the merge is not happening anymore. Now we see only one sphere, uh, the, the current sphere uh, copy to a position, but yeah, we don't have the merge. So what we have to do is we have to do the merge um, manually. So we make, make it so. And so, and then this one here. And now we should see, yeah, now we recreated the behavior, okay? Um, what we had before. And now, and here comes the magic, we have to decide 
if we want to copy the, the new sphere, because in this case here with the intersection, we don't want to copy the new sphere, right? We would say this sphere, uh -uh, this is not a good sphere, so we don't want it. And we can do that actually. And this is really cool. It's, uh, there is a node, it's called intersect analysis. So, uh, no, this is wrong. Let me, uh, okay. So this fetch node here goes into the merge and we check um, what comes out here. Yeah, uh, in this um, begin node is the merged uh, uh, geometry. So what you see here, for example, would be uh, fed into the next iteration. So here comes the whole block of geometry which we created before. And from this, this is this one, right? and from this string here comes the new sphere we want to add. And we can check now if there is an intersection. And if there is an intersection, we don't want to copy the sphere into this merge down here. So what we can do, uh, and by the way, um, this node here uh, uh, returns a number of points which are intersecting. Um, let me show you, let me see if I can show this to you here. We see this, right? Uh, when I fed this here, we should see some, yeah, here. I, I fed the, the output into the merge and now we see points here where the intersection happens and everywhere else there are no points. Okay, so I delete this thing. Okay, so basically we just have to check if there are more points than zero and we can do that. And in case there are more points than zero, we don't want to merge the new sphere from here into yeah the merge node, right? So we create uh, a switch node here, switch. And we say, okay, one option is, please add our new sphere. And the other option is, we create a null node, uh, create nothing basically. And now we have to decide here in the select input for the switch, we have to decide if we set it to zero or one, depending on, yeah, on the result of this node here, if there's an intersection or not. And we can access the output from this by a little expression. We have to type in here, if and then n points so this will give us the number of points and then we can uh, give the relative path to the node and when we go here intersection analysis 2 is it in my case like so double quotes and then we close the um, uh, parenthesis so and what we do now is we ask if the number of points of this node for this iteration is bigger than zero. In that case, and now I have to try return zero. And if it's uh, if if the result is zero, so there's no intersection happen, then return one. Which and and those both numbers here are the um, um, the value we set our switch node to, so to one or two. So I do enter. And okay, I made it the wrong way. I have to make it one first and zero second. Uh, you can also change here the, um, uh, the input uh, order, right? By just drag and dropping here. That would be also. Okay, and now you see, yeah, that it works. There are no um, intersecting spheres. When you, um, how is it called? When you bypass this switch node, you see the original state. Okay, there were two spheres intersecting and if you uh, bypass or stop bypassing this node you see that those are removed isn't that beautiful it's simple it works it's really really cool now we can um, increase the number of points a little bit maybe like so okay let's bypass the node to see how it actually looked uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, i want more points why is it not Oh yeah, there are more points that should be should be fine. But for some reason, I don't see more of those points. I mean, there are many more, but why is it not working here? Oh yeah, I have max iteration set. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I had the max iteration set, so I 
uncheck this and now oh now um i get a lot of <laughs> spheres okay and none of those should intersect which is really good so now let me set the value a little bit higher again so and the beauty is that's really cool you can go to your sphere and scale it a little bit and as you see it's a bit wonky here but they get bigger but they never intersect they are just less when they get bigger and when you get smaller again they share the space and beautifully um yeah never intersect so and this is exactly what you want i can show you the um, uh, the network for the little house here like i said if you follow the tutorial then you will see um how it works so here are my winter props so in the tutorial we um we have these little props and put them to the to the window so i have here different ones the switch node de decides which one i want to take and here is the little network i just showed here's the copy points okay we copy the props to the points we we are giving they are on the wall and uh, yeah here's the intersection here's the second begin node here's the null the switch which i activate now again and then we should see exactly here is the thing where my uh, props were intersecting and now zack they are not intersecting anymore which is beautiful okay i hope that helped um yeah <laughs> thanks for watching the video and uh, bye bye